Hello everyone, it's Lindsay, and today I'm back with another unboxing for you guys. I have the newest kit release from Open Journey. This is October's release. Now, if you missed last month's unboxing, I will go ahead and put that down below for you guys. It wasn't just an unboxing. There was lots of updates about Open Journey as a shop. So there's a new website, there's new subscription options, Kits are monthly now versus quarterly, so they are a little bit different. So lots and lots of changes. Again, if you missed out on all that information, definitely check out that other video. So what I have here is the October release. So you can go ahead and start ordering now. Everything will be linked down below. Um, there's physical kits, digital kits, add-ons. Um, I did grab a couple of things from last month to share with you guys that I didn't, that like, I received them in the mail after I had done last month's unboxing. So you didn't get a chance to see these. Um, I know for a fact that the stamp set is still in the shop. I didn't check to see about the tissue paper. Um, so I'm not quite sure on that, but I want to just kind of show, you know, what I had here that wasn't in that last video. So, uh, if you sign up for the subscription service starting now, it will not start with this kit. If you want this kit, you have to order this separately. So you do need to sign up for a subscription service by the 15th of the month prior to the one that you want to begin. So if you sign up anywhere between now and October 15th, you will be starting your subscription with November's kit. So just keep that in mind. It's all in the fine print over on the website. There's lots of information about setting up the subscription, you know, if you need to cancel, when things ship out, um, all that goodness. And like in the past, she is still offering uh, discount codes. If you order the physical kit, uh, she will mail you with your order a coupon for 50% off of the digital option, or you can just purchase the digital. So kind of the same things that we've seen from Open Journey, but we are now doing the monthly kits. So what I have here is October uh, and it is a series. This is beautiful series. And then there will be several series, but we are focusing on beautiful right now for last month's kit it was beautiful songs of wonder. I have not worked through it yet. I have read through it. I've looked up the scripture, but I haven't like creatively journaled through it. And honestly, it's because I wasn't quite sure how I was going to do it. So you guys know the last few months I have really been loving um, these deconstructed devotionals where I take them apart. I add little extra tidbits in there. Um, and then I coil bind the whole thing. I couldn't really do that with this because it's a series. So I can't like open and close. I mean, you can, but it, it's not meant to be open and closed in the coil. Um, and you can see it would take a much bigger coil to hold multiple devotionals. So I was kind of dragging my feet. Wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it. And then somebody mentioned um, a binder and I'm like, oh, what a great idea. So then I was kind of on the hunt for a binder and then remembered that I had these ones uh, in my stash. These are from Freckled Fawn. Uh, I will link them down below. They are sized for traveler's notebooks. So they're a you know, four ring binder that is sized for a standard traveler's notebook. So rather than deconstructing and coil binding, I'm deconstructing and putting them in this. Now, when I hole punched it, it does kind of encroach into the text just a little bit, but I'm still able to read the text just fine. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll add tabs. And so I'll have each of the devotionals kind of sectioned in here. And then I can do the same thing. I can add, you know, all the little bits and pieces and journaling cards and tickets. And actually, I think this might work a little bit better with some of the, you know, mediums and things that I use with Open Journey. So I'm excited um, about this. So I just wanted to kind of update you what my plan is as I'm working through these kits. Um, All of Beautiful is going to go in one of these binders. And again, I will link um, these down below. I do have a discount code uh, with them. Uh, they're a scrapbooking company, not a Bible journaling company. So, um, you know, there's no like, you know, I'm not talking about another Bible journaling company while I'm unboxing this Bible journaling company's stuff. I try to be really good about keeping those separated. Um, this is just a really good uh, resource for um, organizing your devotionals if you wanted to work through them that way. So this is the second devotional in the series. I'm going to go ahead and move over the add-ons. Uh, so continuing on with Beautiful, this is the physical devotional kit. It does still come in the really nice drawstring bags. These are awesome to keep everything stored together, um, but you could also cut these apart, stamp on them, um, print on this material, use it as a texture. So tear up the packaging and use it uh, in your journaling. But here we go. We have beautifully wrapped beautiful purpose and beauty. And it's so funny because every time I get messages from you guys about different pieces of these kits, I'm like, yes, it's so beautiful. No pun intended, <laughs> but that is like kind of the, the word trend right now as we're working through these kits. So this is beautiful purpose and beauty. And you guys, it is so, so good. So I'm going to go ahead and read 
the forward here because it just kind of gives you some information about the topic that we'll be covering in the devotional. So the the overarching theme between all of these, of course, is beautiful, but then she's looking at specific um, little themes within that. So she says, beauty is all around. It's such an easy thing to hold on to as a reminder of our mighty God. As we enter seasons of change, we see that some changes are reliable changes. Although there are changes within the changes, some changes that occur periodically signal us that greater changes are happening beyond. I see a leaf change glorious colors every fall. It would be tempting to say that it is a totally repetitive cycle, but I'm not the same I was last year. Beholding the color change of the leaves, the tree the leaves belong to is not the same either. We grew in the meantime. The event of the falling leaves reminds us of the constant change in the background. I am a leaf closer to heaven. I am a color changing leaf closer to Jesus. And that is meaningful. And then she has a quote here from uh, St. Patrick of Ireland says, I arise today through the strength of Christ's birth and his baptism through the strength of heaven, light of the sun, splendor of fire, speed of lightning, swiftness of the wind, depth of the sea, stability of the earth, firmness of the rock. I arise today through God's strength to pilot me, God's might to uphold me, God's wisdom to guide me. She continues on and says, I arise today through the reliability of the sun coming up in the firmness of all of you have made Lord. Even though things are changing, you are not. They are all contained within you. Day by day, we have the opportunity to know you better through all these changes. So in the devotional, she really focuses on beauty being found in purpose. And um, as I started kind of looking at this, I mean, gosh, the artwork is beautiful. We'll talk about that in a second. But uh, kind of the general idea, you know, is when you're looking, this made me think of this. You look at flowers and how beautiful flowers are. And yes, they are beautiful to look at, but they weren't created just to be beautiful. You're beautiful like that to attract pollinators, right? There's intentionality behind why they look the way they do. But she goes into some detail about, you know, this idea that God didn't just make things functional. He brought us joy in his creation and getting to see the beauty in his creation. And so um, looking at that and then also looking at that over ourselves and kind of the worldly sense of what it means to be beautiful and the pursuit of beauty um, versus God's perception of beauty. And so it's just such a really good, really good devotional. I'm actually enjoying these smaller kind of snippets. It allows me, I don't feel like I've got to rush through it to get through it for you guys. Um, I'm able to kind of just take it in its entire chunk. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of enjoying this new monthly format. I just need to get caught up. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully this weekend, um, I'm a little caught up on homework so I can get caught up on, um, Bible study. But as we go through, you will see some artwork is similar to last month. There's definitely a theme that's kind of carried through. You know, we've got the butterflies and the colors are similar, but there's new artwork um, for each month. I mean, how beautiful is this? Set like a city in a sky. That's immediately what I thought when I saw this. Um, and so she does reference Re uh, Revelation 21 two, And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, adorned for her husband. And she'll actually talk about the word adorned there. You guys know if you've worked through any of Ingrid's um, work before, she really is big on word studies. So understanding the original language in the context of the scripture. You guys know I just, I beat that dead horse constantly. I think that it's, that wasn't a really good euphemism. Sorry guys. Um, but that's just something that I think is very, very, very important, uh, for all of us as we study scripture is to understand the original, uh, language. And so she does have some word study in here. She's really great at adding little historical tidbits. Um, I didn't see as much like history lesson in here as some of the past devotions. Um, it's just, it's, it's a good one, you guys. And I do really love her formatting style that she goes through and highlights or bold texts, all of the, um, scripture. So you can see where she has pieced together scripture with her devotional. And so it is very heavy in, um, scripture. It's not just very, very heavy on her words and one verse, you know, we're, we're all about being in the Bible first, right? And then it's just, it's beautiful, you guys. She's created such amazing artwork for this whole series. But I mean, she talks about some of these beetles and, and butterflies in um, the devotional content this month. I am so inspired by all of these like scrappy, scrapey paint bits, the layering. I cannot wait 
to create with this kit. Um, and then in the end, she does have a couple of exercise questions just to kind of get you thinking about the content in a deeper way um, and interacting with it and kind of challenging you to pull out, you know, some bits and pieces that you got as you worked through the study. Um, so definitely take advantage of those exercises at the end there. So it is what 13 pages long so nice quality content but isn't going to be super overwhelming to work through in a month which is really nice so the devotional comes in this little folder piece that has that forward in it and then here are all your goodies so the kits are scaled down to a smaller size because we are doing the monthly kits but she has plenty of add-ons in the shop and i actually kind of like that so you're not feeling overwhelmed with what comes in the kit uh, if you're just wanting to do the devotional, then you've got enough here that you can create with it, work through it, um, but not overwhelmed with product. But if you're somebody like me that needs all the things, all the layers, all the bits and pieces, she's got that for you that you can just add on and kind of create your own uh, kit. Do remember that when, you know, when you're looking at the cost of things, especially compared to some other um, products and devotionals out there, Ingrid creates all of her own work. Um, a very small percentage, she'll invite her husband in and he will kind of do some artwork as well, but the vast majority of it is Ingrid. And I'm gonna link a video down below. I shared her reel over on Instagram um, and it was great. I commented on it. We talked um, about the Sparrow reel, but then somebody pointed out that she had a detailed YouTube video for that Sparrow. So I'm gonna link that down below and I want you to go check it out and see just how much attention to detail she puts into her artwork. I mean, it is absolutely amazing. I'm already amazed by the quality of work. So she was doing a sparrow in the very similar style to this girl. And I was amazed because it was on an, another level compared to what I can do with graphite and charcoal and things like that. But in the video, she goes into detail about how she prepped the wooden surface for that artwork. And that alone, I told her, I want to go to Ingrid Art School, not the school I'm going to. <laughs> I want to go learn from her because... She is, she is a trained find artist, you guys. So you are paying for that when you are buying these kits. You are getting her talent, her originality, um, her time. I mean, this is her form of worship also is, you know, creating for him and his, his word to get out there to you guys. And so I just, all of that, you guys know, I've shared over the years, I just am obsessed with what she does and why she does it and how she does it. So in here, you are going to get um, a word focus card. So I, you know, I said you definitely want to do some word studies. So this month is adorn. She's got some uh, scripture references for here uh, for you. If you have questions about how to use these, I do have an entire series of word study Wednesday videos. I haven't done new ones in a while, but there's plenty of content there for you guys to kind of see how I work through these cards the process I use, the resources that I use to do an in-depth word study, and then how I creatively work with these cards. So I love that she includes one of those in there. Uh, she's got her uh, notes here. And I guess technically this is actually probably more specific about this devotional. The forward might be more of kind of a general um, kind of note. And this is specifically about the devotional content, but she also um, just kind of includes some information about um, what's included in there. Um, and then also where you can find her on social media, the hashtags that we're using for these kits um, and pay attention to that new website. She's no longer over on Etsy. Well, strike that, take that back. She is still on Etsy for um, international orders. So if you're not in the US, um, you unfortunately don't have access to the subscription service yet. That's not something she can offer yet, but she does have all the products and kits over there on the Etsy shop. So if you are outside of the U.S., utilize the Etsy shop. That's how you're going to place your orders. But those of us in the U.S., you're going to take advantage of the new website, which is openjourney.faith um, is the new website. So I'm praying that in the future that can be consolidated as, um, you know, Time goes on and it's just tricky dealing with all the logistics of sending things overseas, especially this, the size of packages that she's sending with her products. Um, it's just a little bit tricky. So for now, it's easier for her to do that on Etsy for um, international orders. Okay, you're going to get several sheets of clear stickers. So you've got three full sheets and then a half sheet. And oh my goodness, how amazing are these. You've um, got this one that's got the moths and butterflies and some greenery, but then this beautiful graphite um, image of the girl and she's got all these words 
um, kind of in her linen wrapped hair. So, so beautiful. Um, you've got some florals again, some more butterflies and she's sprinkled in some words through here. Now, because they're on the clear sticker paper, they just melt right into your page. They look like they were, you know, painted directly on there. These are awesome for you guys that love the look of mixed media and paint, but don't love the mess of it. So this is a good kind of happy in between for you. Lots of floral bits. I love all the like mixed media splashes and dribbles and things like that. So there is the clear stickers. Then we've got some opaque white stickers here. So one, two, three, four full sheets and then two half sheets. So this is fun. So these are size to um, two inch margin. So you could use this as an entire margin piece. You could kind of fussy cut this out and just stick it to your page. So I love you're getting that look of stacks and layers without adding the bulk to your Bible. I don't mind bulk, but I know that not everybody wants that. And it is um, opaque white and it's not coated. So you could run this through your typewriter and type directly onto that um, tag piece if you wanted. Also use this as inspiration. I'm seeing she's got a little peak of a seal. I know she's got some seal stamps in the shop. So you could kind of recreate this look with actual product um, if you wanted to, if you've got some old vintage envelopes or take new envelopes and dye them with distressed products, you could get that look. And then at the bottom here, she has some word fetty kind of sprinkled through. Um, and then she's brought back the Polaroid images that we saw from last month, but they have different artwork inside of them. I love these mixed media Polaroids. Um, and then you've got the title, Beautiful Purpose and Beauty. So if you wanted to mark every page that you're creating on with the title, you could do that. If you're doing tabs, you could put those on tabs. So I love that she's included that. Look, this is beautiful, beautiful. And I love that you can use this or use it in its entirety with all the layered bits on there. Oh, so, so pretty. This page here, you've got some smaller little elements here. This is the graphic from the front of the devotional. And then you have some faux stamps here again, is that city in heaven. That is just, I mean, I'm just amazed. Her skill level, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I'm not sure which, I know her husband did some art, but I'm not sure which ones he did. I'm sure somebody will <laughs> point it out. She might jump in the comments and point it out which ones um, he did if it was for this kit. But anyways, you've got these stamp images. How fun are these? And then some more word fetty in there. And then this one with the Revelation 21 2. Oh, beautiful. Love this as inspiration for backgrounds and mixed media back here. Really, really pretty. And then this one here, you can use it in its entirety or cut it in half. The nice thing about these is they are perfectly sized to fit on these cards, the word focus cards. Look at this. So I'd probably scoot this down just a little bit and it'll fit on that card. And then you've got it covered. You could do your notes, your scripture writing on the back if you wanted to. If you have the one of the sets of word focus cards, you can use these on those as well. Um, so I like that those can work together or work as backgrounds. I'll even like tear things um, and blend it in with some paint so it blends into the page or just stick it down, write your notes, you're good to go. It does not have to be overly complicated. Look at the beautiful antenna on that moth. So, so pretty, the detail that she has in there. Okay, we've got then some cardstock pieces. So you've got some two inch margin pieces. Again, a piece that would fit as an entire background in a margin, and then you just have to add you know, your title, your journaling, your prayer journaling, and you're done. You don't have to do a lot of work, but look at all of the detail with all of the texture. Um, she does offer fine art prints of a lot of her artwork. So you can purchase those through the website. If there's something that you specifically see um, that isn't in there, maybe reach out to her and she might be able to set something up for you. Um, every artist loves the opportunity to share their art, right? <laughs> and to sell it. So um, definitely reach out to her if there's something that's really resonating with you. Um, and she may be able to make that happen. Um, these are some more Polaroids. And then this is, I love, I love that one. That's my favorite, favorite piece from this, this month here, I think. So this is the white cardstock. So you can use these as ephemeral pieces, um, and kind of layer things up. And then we have four of these. These are full, like full page traveler notebook size pages. So these I will likely cut 
and, or not cut, I'm sorry, hole punch and insert as pages in my devotional. So then I have room to write. So I've got some room that I can write. I've got some room if I wanted to create on the back, I definitely could because it is nice cardstock. It isn't watercolor paper, so I wouldn't get too crazy with really, really, really wet mediums. Um, but acrylic paints should be fine. Um, gelatos would be fine. You know, those kind of things. Um, you could probably even get away with stamping. I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry too much about bleed through, maybe not a dye based ink, but, um, the distress oxide should be fine to stamp on the back here and not bleed through, but these make great, um, insert pages or just, you know, cutting them apart using bits and pieces. One of the exercises is to write your own Psalm, um, of praise to God. And so this would be a great place to do that. Maybe you want to type it out or run it through your printer and then frame this and have this as an element, you know, on your desk, in your house. That is one thing I love about her artwork. I have to pick and choose what I want to put in my Bible and what I have in my office. I have bits of Ingrid's art everywhere. It's like propped on shelves, in frames, on clippies, on walls. <laughs> like I have it everywhere because I'm obsessed with it. So you've got those two pieces there. And then these, how beautiful is this? I love this one. So there are those. So that is everything that comes in the devotional kit. So you can see there's plenty to work with, but it's not super, super overwhelming. And I like that it really um, encourages you to focus on the study part and not so much the art part. She's done the art part for you. So spend your time in the word, studying, worshiping. Um, and then if you want to pull out the paints and get a little crazy, you definitely can, but you don't have to. So there is beautiful purpose and beauty. Again, that will be linked down below and there is a digital option as well. So let's take a look at the add-ons. I'll mention this one first. So there is a new washi tape. She released several washi tapes um, with last month's release. Um, this was a new one and it's already sold out. So obviously you guys love this. Um, I mean, come on, it is amazing amazing. I am obsessed with her washi tape right now. So I did check with her before I turned on the camera. She is going to go ahead and restock this, but it does take three weeks or so, um, for that process to get restocked. So, you know, sign up. I think she has an email. Yes, she does have an email list. Make sure you're signed up on the email list. Um, and I'm sure she'll notify once things are restocked or I'll try to pop in and remind you guys on Instagram or something like that, because this is going to be a really good one. I in fact used, let me grab it. This one from last month, this is the large or the wide, beautiful washi. So I'm actually filming this on a new phone. I did upgrade my phone since that's primarily what I use to film and create all my content. Um, and so I upgraded and I had to send in my old phone. So I actually uh, sealed all my packaging with this tape. It was hard for me to part with it because I wanted to hoard it. But I thought, you know what? Somebody's going to take that apart to process my phone and they're going to get a little bit of, be of Bible love through some washi tape. Um, when they open that package. So I oftentimes, if I'm mailing a letter, even if it's one that's like self-sealed or have to lick it and steal it, so seal it, I will still put some washi tape on the envelope. And I try to pick ones that have, you know, scripture or you just Bible based sayings on them. And that's just a little way to, to get the word out there, guys. <laughs> that's one way that I use the washi, but this is a great one. It will be restocked. Don't worry. Okay, let's talk about the old stuff first. Um, she released a set of tissue papers. I think in the unboxing last month, I had mentioned that she had these, but I didn't have them yet. They were similar to the papers that Tim Holtz does, but totally different. Um, let me grab one. So these are the ones that Tim Holtz does. And these are um, slightly thicker maybe. Yeah, slightly thicker, but they're also not coated. Uh, so they take mediums really well and they're giant. So compared to this roll of, of um, tissue paper, these are like giant printed sheets. How amazing for backgrounds. So when you stick this down with um, gesso, clear gesso or matte gel medium, the white portion of the tissue paper basically just disappears. It becomes transparent um, and then you're just left with the black imagery. And so it looks like it's been like stamped onto your page. So I can't even, I don't even think I could show the whole thing um, in the camera. So there, to give you an idea, lots of fun mixed media marks and textures. I love this. Uh, if you wanted color, you can um, add 
distress products to this. I've used the papers with like um, distress inks and you know various things like that to give it like an aged look. I have done some techniques where I've created like faux rice paper um, by using I think matte gel medium on um, wax paper and then that way you're able to peel this up off the wax paper and it kind of creates like this faux it's nothing like rice paper but the journaling community calls it faux rice paper but then it has some integrity to it and then you can die cut with it I've created like little envelopes out of it so if that's something you want to see leave a comment down below side note real quick because I just realized I didn't mention this um I'm going to start doing live uh, crafty session videos here on YouTube, uh, every other Friday. So there actually is one this upcoming Friday, September 29th at 1 PM Pacific standard time. And it is a super casual free for all just hang out. Um, it's not tied to any one company. It's not any commitment that I have with any company. It is, I get to do what I want, how I want, when I want. <laughs> so there will be mixing companies, mixing products. We might do a full project. We might just do some little tidbits. If there's things that you guys have questions about or specific techniques that you want to see, um, rather than taking the time to do a full video, cause I don't have the time right now, I figured that would be a good kind of happy medium that we can get a little crafty time. And then you guys have direct access to me. So I'm guessing about two hour time frame is what it'll be. And so you can ask questions, ask to see things, um, whatever it is. And I will be there live to answer those questions and to show you things. So if you want to see something with the tissue paper, leave a comment down below. Also check out um, here on YouTube. I did like a static um, crafty hangout post. And so maybe leave a comment um, underneath there so I can just pull them all right before I go live on Friday. I can't get to everybody's requests, but if we do them every other Friday, eventually we'll be able to get um, everybody in there. So hope you'll join me on Friday. But anyways, all I have to say, there is the tissue paper from her. Like I said, I didn't check to see if it's in stock. I think, I think it is. And if not, she will restock it. Um, there's also a um, stamp set. So you may have noticed that the kits don't come with a stamp set. The stamp set is separate. Uh, and she, she released this last month. She didn't release a new stamp this month because this one coordinates with the beautiful series. So we saw lots of these kind of like Moroccan style hand-drawn tiles throughout the imagery. And so these are individual tile stamps. So you can imagine you can really create some fun backgrounds and patterns with these, depending on the color that you stamp with. Um, and then, oh, I love this. I actually have the wax seal of this um, image here. She's got some words, wonder, beautiful, lots of different beautifuls there. He has made everything beautiful in its time. So really, really great uh, stamp set there. And this is a slightly different size. So these are four by eight, I believe. Yeah. Four by eight versus four by six. So you're actually getting two inches more than a standard four by six stamp set. So there is the beautiful stamp. Okay. Releasing new this month, we've got some new, uh, tickets. So these are beautiful two. I think it's how she has listed tickets. These are fun for just adding little journaling tidbits that you can tuck into places. I like to keep my prayer journaling a little bit more private, especially because my everything's so public <laughs> with my Bible journaling. So my prayer journaling, I try to keep kind of hidden. Oh, I love this. The leaves are starting to change here in California. I'm so excited. Here's what I was saying about those kind of Moroccan style um, tiles. I guess they're probably not Moroccan style, but that's what that's what my mind thinks of when I see them. So you can see you could go in with your scissors and create um, some detail. I know somebody had mentioned that they had like an itty bitty little hole punch. So you could itty bitty hole punch the edge and get that serrated edge. Oh, look at this. I'm loving the browns and kind of earthier tones of this release. Perfect going into fall. Love that. So these are cardstock. You could run these through your typewriter. So they're just fun for adding little tidbits of journaling um, on them. So those are the tickets. Next up, there is a set of new Polaroids. So this is beautiful two Polaroids. I love the look of the Polaroids. I love it, love it. You may have noticed I actually use the Polaroid style as my thumbnail for open journey videos for a while now, over a year I've used that. So I love, I love seeing the Polaroids because obviously I love that. So there's some smaller ones. Again, it's just going to be artwork that you've seen throughout the um, kit. That one is a little bit different. 
oh, this is different. So there are some pieces that aren't in the devotional kit. Works of art. These would be fun to like stamp on, create little layering elements, maybe create like a little mini book with them. That would be super fun. Oh, there's my favorite. So there are the little ones and then there are some larger Polaroids as well. And they're just blank on the back. So you very easily could just use these as journaling cards if you wanted to. Gift card, you know, like if you're gifting somebody, write the scripture on the back and pass it along to somebody. And then they've got a piece of Ingrid's art with some scripture on it. Super, super beautiful. I am loving the colors of this month's kit. So pretty. How amazing. Gosh, my favorite. And there's some blanks in there. So if you want to create your own artwork or maybe you want to do some journaling on there, you can. There's that kind of Instax camera style. So there are the Polaroid add-ons. Sorry if you're hearing noise in the background. The whole family's home and dinner is about ready. <laughs> I'm trying to trying to get this done for you guys before I hit the books and start the rest of my studying tonight. All right, there is an add-on set of ephemera. So you may have noticed there are not the small ephemera pieces in the devotional kit. So those are an add-on. I'm always unsure how to open this because I want to save the top stone portion. <laughs> I'm a weirdo like that. So they come in this nice glassy bag the little stitched piece at the top. Oh, so pretty. Look at this. So you could layer these over. Oh, 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 got an idea. Okay. So if you want some dimension, because I, I love working with cardstock and paper pieces, but I like to have some dimension, especially to printables. It just kind of spices it up and adds a little something so it's not so flat. So you could use some foam adhesive and pop these up. That's a little dark. Um, pop them up on foam adhesive, and then you would have like a layered element over a background piece. So that might be one way that I use those particular ephemera pieces, or, you know, you bust out your paints, create a really fun background, and then add these silhouettes to there. And then there are some florals. There's some more girl. Oh, look how precious the mom with the little baby. Oh, Ingrid. It's just so precious this month. Okay florals, leaves. I love the leaves. I'm going to need to print some more. This is definitely one where I would do the digital also. That way I could print plenty of the leaves because I will use those through the entire fall season. You've got some butterflies and moths. I love when she mixes the sketchy penciled in florals with the colored in florals. I love that look. There are some colored leaves. So there is a look at what comes in the ephemera pack there. This is so, so pretty. So there is that if you're wanting some additional ephemera pieces. I love the idea of adding like stitching in with it, layering it up with like some cheesecloth and stitching through them and creating little clusters. Um, I know she did some of those a couple months ago. Um, you could do that with these if you wanted to do that. Okay, I'm trying to, trying to go quick here. All right, next up, there are some sticker add-ons. So there's two different options. This one is the, I think, tile stickers. So these are cut, if I remember correctly, yes, cut into the squares. I actually used my Postal die from Tim Holtz. I think I mentioned this last month. And die cut them out so it made little stamp shapes out of these, but... They're just nice, quick, easy little stickers. Great for bullet points, um, for note taking. I totally messed that up. So you get two pages of the, two and a half pages of the tile stickers. And then these are awesome. Look at these. Great for sealing envelopes. I'm all about taking our Bible journaling supplies and using them in creative ways outside of our Bible. And these would be great ways to seal up envelopes. Maybe write out a little scripture on there. But look at these. These are my favorite right here these brown dried flowers over the gesso, over the antique paper. I love that. Oh, and the beetles. And then of course, my favorite one right there. So again, you'll just see lots of that artwork just in different, different ways. And then just some different things that aren't in the devotional kit. So there is one of the sticker add-ons and they come in the envelopes. So they stay nice and safe and easy to organize. 
And there is this one. Oh, this is the stamp add-on. Sorry. This is the tile. I think this is called tile stickers. And then these are stamp stickers. Look at how amazing these are. I wish these were real stamps. I just bought a stamp for the first time in forever yesterday. 66 cents. <laughs> and it was boring and not cute. I wish they were like these. So these are cut just um, not serrated. They're straight edge. But you could go in with like you know, pinking scissors or something like that and give it some texture if you wanted to, but how pretty. These are so fun and so easy to just use as layering bits. Um, that's kind of one thing with mixed media, and that's, I think, why some people struggle with mixed media. It is not necessarily a fast, creative way to work. It's really, the it looks better the more you have sometimes, like just building up those layers, all the different sized elements. That's kind of why I love mixed media is because you get to play with a lot of different things, pile it all on in a way that looks aesthetically pleasing. I love that challenge of it. So these do have some different um, images that we haven't seen. So like this floral right here is a little bit different. Oof, this piece right here. You get more of that sunset road scene there. Gosh, these are just beautiful. Ingrid just never ceases to amaze me. I love this. Love that. Here's the ladder from last month is in there. Look at this rainbow over the top of the butterfly that zoomed in of that butterfly. Oh, so, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I love that. I would put that in a print in my house. <laughs> I, I love that scene right there. So those are stamps and then there's words, stamps and words. So you saw some of the like word fetty throughout the devotional imagery. We saw it like in her hair, I believe, for some. Oh yeah, so here layered over the dress. Um, and then yeah, the word in her hair. So that dress in her hair. So here are some words. We've seen these from her before. So these are words that go along with the devotional. I love, I love using these to piece and make different titles, use them as word studies. Again, just really good layering bits. Uh, it looks like you get two of each set, two of each set approximately. Yes. There are some little extra bits on there that you could cut apart. And then I wouldn't even throw away the trash. So they're cut up to there. So I would even use this as a strip of like washi. I would not throw that away. <laughs> I would use the little bits. So it's like she's printed the background on the whole page and then cut out the words. So the entire thing has print on it and they're matte white sticker paper. So they're easy to put paint on, to write on. Um, I really like that they're not coated. Um, coating is nice because it makes it look shiny and nice, but coating isn't always great when you're creating with it. Um, it can be hard to get mediums. Um, I'm kind of weird. I don't, I like mediums to all kind of work the same. So if you have like a glossy element and a matte element, I don't like to mix and match that. So I like that it's all matte. So those are the stamps and word add-on. I think that's everything. So here's a look at the newest release for October from Open Journey. That is Beautiful Purpose and Beauty. I will have everything linked down below for you guys. It is shipping now. So if you order now, it will be shipping now. Uh, and make sure if you want to take advantage of the subscription service that you get that subscribe so you can start your subscription with November's kit, which I will be unboxing on here as well. Hopefully you'll come join me on Friday. Again, that is Friday, September 29th, 2023. 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, as long as technology works with me, I will be saving that live and reposting it here onto YouTube so you can come back to it. I'm going to try to be intentional about um, if there's questions that I'm answering, reading out the question because YouTube doesn't save the like comment section from the live. I don't think it may have changed, but as far as I know, it doesn't. So it can be a little confusing when you're watching the replay. So I'm going to try to um, kind of navigate that in a way that makes the rewatch or replay a little bit more feasible for you guys. So if you have questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the description box for links to everything that I mentioned today. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're looking forward to working through this kit, subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.